Dr. Vasquez, what should a person do who does work on the computer a lot? Uh, is there any exercise, eye exercise, or for that much other exercise to get uh, blood running through the vessels or whatever it is? Is, is there something one can do and should do maybe? Right. And it's uh, to set up your uh, environment to your, in, for ergonomics. So I call it the rules of 20. So your computer screen should be uh, 20 inches away, and so which is about the length of your arm, uh, and you should be the the computer screen. <laughs> Something okay. like that. Exactly. All right. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. And then the other, <laughs> and the other one is uh, uh, having the computer screen a little bit below eye level, so you're not looking up. Because uh, if your eyelash, eye upper lid is looking up like this, it's got farther way to travel. So you should be you a little higher. Me, you don't want me to do like, like this? I don't want me to, you know, sitting way down like that, exactly, okay. looking up. You know, All right. It's going to be hard on the eyes. Uh, and every 20 minutes, you have to look away at something that's 20 feet away, like with some with detail, like maybe looking out the window or at a clock or uh, a bookshelf with maybe some on the bookshelves. That's that three times an hour with. and an eight-hour shift. That's 24 times. That's 24 times the chance for me to getting freaking fired. <laughs> looking away from my computer. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, it's good. <laughs> it's going to be making you more productive because by the end of that eight-hour time frame, your produ production is going to go down. So okay, so look away break. 20 feet or so. If that means you need to step out of your office, go ahead and do it, right? Right. Yeah, if it's for two minutes, that's fine. Yeah. Allow your eyes to refocus in those mm -hmm. situations. But the, the constant barrage of uh, looking at these uh, uh, pixels, uh, looking at that screen uh, all day long, uh, it's just going to wear on the eyes. Okay. So, so basically, is important. balance it. Anything else? Uh, no, that's the that's key things. Okay. All right. Good. Um, does that go for almost you know for other things for our other eye exercises, not just the computer, but overall, just you know, is that the type of eye exercise? Which is there? Look at look at far and close object in a somewhat balanced way, and yeah, right. Yeah, there's some other ways that you can try and help uh, help the focusing muscles. You can take a book and do a trombone and slide it up until it gets out of focus, and then you can slide it back away until it becomes clear. And you know, doing that it's kind of like a little push up for the 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 muscles that can, mm. uh, make you focus uh, up close, far away. There's some uh, proof in that to help your eyes be more flexible. Uh, make the lens, uh, it's actually the lens of the eye, be more flexible. I mean, the muscles that bend that lens to autofocus, like a camera, uh, need to be worked out more. I mean, it's going to harden anyway. Uh, uh, so how, how long can we extend that uh, the ability to focus by bending that lens, uh, being able to read? That's one little uh, ex uh, test you can do or, or um, mm -hmm. therapy on your eyes, so to speak. Okay. All right. In fact, in that extent from what you just said, I have seen glasses, which are really not glasses. Uh, those are glasses with lots of little holes in it, and you try to learn how to read through those holes. Um, and uh, I have tried them, um, you know, because somebody had them, and I said, what's that all about? And the person told me, and I looked through it, and uh, holy and behold, um, it almost worked a little bit like a magnifying glass, or at least it had the effect like, um, you know, like when you read in the sunlight, where in the sunlight, I can read the newspaper inside, even though it's nice and light, I cannot. Um, so is, there anything, is that a similar effect, what you just have by kind of like looking through, a, you know, exercising the eye or what? Uh, sort of. It, it, with the uh, pinhole effect, you're, you're getting the one ray of light that goes through that one hole uh, and able to focus right on your eye. Uh, and that's why when you... Um, when it's bright, your pupil gets really small, and it works like a pinhole. So there's this one bit of image ray that gets focused or put on the, the back of your eyes, and which is you're not having to work at it. So uh, that's it's called a pinhole effect. Um, mm -hmm. The focusing the exercise is to make the lens more flexible. Okay. Got it. Okay. Now, does that pinhole effect, if a person uses that, is that only a 
in that moment uh, can read a little better, or is that something which then uh, has a long-term effect and, uh, and, and starts exercising the eye in a way that, you, that it will last, uh, or not really? Uh, no, I mean, even if uh, with any pinhole, with any type of uh, uh, person, or any person that has, uh, you know, some type of visual correction, whether it just be for reading or just be far away, there always will be that one image that goes focused into the eye. So a pinhole uh, is not really doing any exercises to the eyes. Okay, I got it. It's just for that moment... It might, yeah. it, it might, it might work. So if you're out of, um, right. out of, um, what you might call it, a magnifying glass and you have a, and you can create a pinhole effect, you might be able to read what you want to read. <laughs> That's right. Take a piece of paper, put a hole in it, and just hold it up to your eye and you and might be able to be able to read that way. You might be able to read it, uh, enough to, yep. to crack the code. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you.